Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel, Understand Tech Here. In today's video, I am going to discuss about recursive function. What it is, its syntax, how to use it, things you should consider while using it with complete programs. So let's start. A function that calls itself is called a recursive function. Let's look at the program. Before I go further, I am assuming that you know the basics of functions. If you haven't clearly understood function, I suggest you look at my video on the basics of functions. I have included the link to the video in the description sections below. As you probably know, when you run or execute a program, a computer looks for the main function and it starts running or executing things that are in it. So, here is our main computer executes this. Now, computer comes to this point. This is a call to a function f1. The rule of the function says when there is a function call, computer goes from where there is function call to where the definition of the function is. Where is the definition of the function? Here. So, computer goes from this point to this point. Now, computer starts executing whatever is inside this function. First, computer executes this. Now, computer comes to this point. Look carefully. This is a call to function f1. As you can see, function f1 is calling f1. Since function f1 is calling itself, it is a recursive function. So, done with the definition. Let us see what happens further. f1 is being called. As explained above, when there is a function call, computer goes from where it is called to where the definition of the function is. So, from this point, computer goes to this point. Remember, this is the second time computer has come to this point. Now, computer starts executing whatever is inside the function f1. Computer executes this. Now, computer encounters this. This is a call to function f1. Computer goes from this point to this point. This is the third time computer has come to this point. Computer executes this. again call to function f1 coming back here. Now, look carefully when is this cycle stopping? Well, it is not stopping. Therefore, you should handle recursive function carefully otherwise like here an infinite loop may be created. There are places where recursive functions could be useful to see one of its use. Let us look at this program and see how factorial can be found using recursive function. I guess you know what a factorial is. So, this is factorial. Let us say when prompted we enter 3. After getting data from user, computer comes to this point. This is a function call. So, from this point, computer goes to this point. The value of variable n, which is 3, is passed here. So, 3 also travels and now it will be in variable num. The variable the value of variable fact is 3. If num is equal to 1, no. Computer comes to else part. In else part, you have a call to function find factorial. Where does computer go? Here. Computer does all the things that are inside functions find factorial 
again but uh, if I saw all the things here things could look pretty messy and uh, you might find things hard to follow so I have copied the same code here and showing you whatever are happening here here so when there is a call to function find factorial instead of saying computer goes to here I am saying computer goes here did you understand what did I do here if not look carefully once along the way 3 minus 1 2 to also travel and it will be in variable num the value of variable fact is 2 be clear there is absolutely no relations between variables name and fact of these two functions computer comes to this point this is a call to functions find factorial computer actually goes to this point does things that are here but to make things easier to follow like before I have copied this code here and I am saying uh, computer comes to this point along the way 2 minus 1 1 1 also travels and it will be in variable num the value of fact is 1 num is equal to 1 yes so computer goes to if section in if section there is a written statement now from this point computer returns to where the function was initially called so computer comes back to this point along the way the value of num which is 1 also travels now this 1 is multiplied with the value of fact which is 2 and therefore the new value of fact is 2 computer comes to this point this is again function return statement from this point computer returns to where the function was initially called so computer comes back to this point along the way the value of fact which is 2 also travels now 2 is multiplied with the value of fact which is 3 in this case and therefore the new value of fact is 6 computer comes to this point this is again written statement from this point computer goes to here because this was where this function was initially called along the way the value in fact which is 6 also travels this value will be stored in variable f finally f is displayed and you get 6 in the screen or console which is factorial of number 3 we entered in the beginning this is how factorial of a number can be found by using recursive functions. How was today's video? Please leave your comments and suggestions below. I would be posting video like this on various programming topics. So please do consider subscribing to my channel. So this was for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next one.